Hey everyone and welcome back to another video um, and again I'm in the spare room today filming because I think it's a really good background because it's quite plain but anyway I'm doing an exciting video today I'm doing something a little bit different um, I went to Leeds yesterday which was Sunday the 5th and I come back today which is Monday the 6th I'm not sure when this video is going to be uploaded so I'm just letting you know so you know I went to go see Nelly in concert who was absolutely amazing I really really enjoyed my day it was absolutely fantastic it was, he's one of the best people I've seen live um, and I was so close, like so close, it was so exciting. But anyway, I'm not going to really talk about that too much because I did vlog the day um, as much as I could. I'm going to compile it all together and upload a vlog for you to watch. This is going to be my Leeds shopping haul. Um, we did do a little bit of shopping on the Sunday and then we also went shopping on the Monday. Um, I have got shops, um, I went to Primark, I went to um, Victoria's Secret Pink. I've got my freebies that I got at the hotel I thought I would show you. Um, I also went to uh, Superdrug and I went to Wilkinson's. Not, didn't do a lot of awful off, which, blah, 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 let's just start again. <laughs> didn't do an awful lot of shopping. Um, it was more to go see Nelly and just have some food and relax and chill out a little bit. Really, really good night, really enjoyed it um, and had a great time. Anyway, let's crack on. Um, to start with, I'm going to do all the little bits and bobs and I'll get to Primark and Victoria's Secret after. Um, so I'll do my freebies from the hotel first. So I picked up this, um, we, went, we stayed in the Radisson Blue um, Hotel, which was in Leeds City Centre. Um, it was in perfect positioning um, and it was a really nice five star hotel. It was lovely. So I picked up one of their notepads just off one of the table. thought this was quite handy to keep inside your handbag, um, just in case you need to make any notes off your out. You think, oh yeah, I've got a video idea, let me write it down. I also, to accompany that, I picked up two pens. Um, which have just got their logo on them and I thought they were handy to stick in your handbag or pens never come in a miss so I thought I would pick them up and then I walked over to the little tea and coffee bit that you have and there was some tea bags that I decided to bring home with me they were from the brand called Ron Ronfeld Feld? I'm not sure how to pronounce it um, but I got two cam chamomile and two classic green tea bags they look like this the chamomile ones and the classic green ones look like this just think they're quite handy just to put in your handbag um obviously if you're like going to work or whatever and you want a cup of tea at work then they're quite handy for that so that was that then i went into the bathroom and there was a little um this little card which had a shower cap inside it so again i thought this was quite handy maybe to take on holiday or something like that and there was a little vanity kit which looks like this and then inside, you open it up and it's got two earbuds, or cotton swabs, whatever you want to call them, a um, nail file and two little cotton pads. And that's just really handy to take away with you, really. Um, so again, I thought it might be quite handy um, to take on holiday with me. And then the redeeming, amazing thing, and I was super excited, was... They had freebies from the brand called This Works, and This Works is quite an expensive brand, so I was really happy um, to try their stuff out. There was a hand soap which I picked up and put in my bag, which looks like this. There was a um, body lo a balancing body lotion, which was 30 ml, which looks like this. I put pictures on my Instagram as well if you follow me on Instagram. A reviving shower gel. I wonder what these actually are. Oh, they're, they're sealed. Hang on. I wonder what these actually smell like. Ugh. Oh, it's actually quite um citrusy and like herby. I love I love things that smell like quite like fresh and I don't know how I like them. Anyway, there's a reviving shampoo and a balancing conditioner also. Um, so pretty much everything you need for an overnight stay. It was 26 degrees in Leeds today. It's 19 in Stockton where I am. Um, now, up Middlesbrough if you want to call it that. But look at this arm where I was sat in the sun at the restaurant. It is red raw. <laughs> um, it was 26 degrees. It's as hot. I looked at Cavos because that's where I'm born in August. It's as hot as Cavos. There was like no breeze. It was boiling. I could have done with some time lotion to be honest. But it was a lovely day. Anyway, I popped into Wilkinson's. Have tried previously filmed this video, so I have already swatched them for you. Um, and I just picked up some Essence lip liners. I did want to have a little look at their range because 
it's quite a good beauty range it's very reasonably priced it's quite cheap um but only wilkinson stock it unless you want to order offline um so i got one of their essence lip liners in honeyberry which is number 15 and um, the essence lip liner in number 14 femme fatale which is like a red um i'll just reapply this a little bit and i'll show you the swatches so the bottom one is the femme fatale which is this one and this is the honeyberry one here pound each thought they're a really good price and i'm actually thinking about doing a comparison video against the MUA ones which are also a pound so just let me know what you think about that um because they're both a cheap lip liner and i thought it might be a nice little comparison video which one's better so maybe essence lip liners versus MUA lip liners i don't know that'd be quite a nice idea i'm trying to do my beauty videos so then I popped into um, Superdrug and they had the L'Oreal Make One 3 for 2 and I spotted this mascara. It's a brand new one, it's L'Oreal Paris Mega Volume Miss Hippie Mascara um, and I got the black one. They do do some waterproof as well. It looks like this and um, I'm really, really, really excited to try this. It was on 3 for 2 so my auntie picked up one as well so she's got hers and then she let me get a freebie and um, so I picked this up but we're really looking forward to trying this because the model, the model on the picture, her eye, like it was like false lash effect, her eyes looked amazing. I know they probably have false lashes on but I just thought it'd be really nice to give it a try and I also think I will do like a first impressions video on this and see what I think about this and see how it wears, if it goes clumpy, if it flakes, anything like that um, with it being in your mascara to let you know whether it's worth buying or not and then I picked up the L'Oreal Paris Infallible 24 hour matte powder in 160 sand beige I've heard a lot of good things about the L'Oreal Infallible range and once I finish using my current foundations I do want to give their foundations a go and um, because it's supposed to be really 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 good Um, I opened if you open it up I assume it's got like a sponge in the bottom or something I haven't actually opened it but I'll open it for you and you can have a little look so yeah, in the, oh that's quite a nice sponge actually. In the bottom, it's going to reflect isn't it? In the bottom it's got a mirror and a sponge, like a nice little, it's actually quite a nice sponge. Might use that for something else. And then obviously the top compartment is the powder. I'll also swatch this for you, but you probably won't be able to see it that much anyway. It's just this little swatch here, just to set my makeup so it's set in place for 24 hours and it doesn't move i hope it works um but yeah looking forward to giving that a go and also while i was in super drug this is actually my old one my new one i think is in my makeup bag i had to pick up a new one of the last imperfection 16 hour wear um, ultimate concealer it's four pound 20 um the infallible is 4.99 and the new mascara is 5.99 and um, just so you knew the prices i always get kill to medium number two um, so I just picked up a new one of those because I need a new one because this is now empty so this will be in my empties video. And then this I just want to quickly skim over this because I'm really looking forward to trying it. Basically it's a new set of body mists or body sprays that are out in um, Superdrug and they are like Victoria's Secret. They're called the Body Fantasy range and this is the pink grapefruit fantasy. They're an American brand which have just launched in the UK um, and I'm really really looking forward to trying this and I want to do a Body, Fantas body Fantasies versus like Victoria's Secret or Hollister sprays because Hollister sprays and, and Victoria's Secret are a lot more expensive even though they do smell delicious but these are currently on offer for £2 they normally retail at £4 but even at £4 they're a nice cheap alternative and they smell really really good but the downside was there are currently four cents in the range they only had this one all three stores in Leeds were completely sold out. Middlesbrough sold out and Stockton sold out and they sold out online. So I'm going to, I have found another website that stocks them. So I'm going to try and order them. Um, so I can do that versus video because I think it'll be a really, really good um, dupe for the Victoria's Secret ones. And at that price, even at £4, they're a really, really good price. Um, and they smell nice. So hopefully I'll do like a video on them. Um... What else did I get? Next I'll do my Victoria's Secret. Um, I did. I got some underwear and I got some beauty bits and bobs. Um, for, you, for those of you who don't know, Victoria's Secret Pink is sort of like the younger, cheaper side of Victoria's Secret. Um, 
I, I don't want to be like, oh, but I'm quite a curvy girl. I love their bras, but they will not go anywhere near me. Um, so I opt to go into the pink side of it because it's cheaper um, and a lot of their body mists and stuff are cheaper and they're just as nice as the Victoria's Secret. It's just sort of like the upper or like the more, it's more like the more grown up version I would say if you like. So I picked out some underwear which I'll just quickly show you. Um, these were on 5 for £25 I believe. Um, five twenty-five pounds, or they are seven pound each. So I picked up the five, and I'm absolutely in love with them. Um, I got a size medium, so I got, and they've just these are all just songs basically, and they've got the pink band on them. Really love these stickers. So they've got the black band, and then I got these ones which are in the grey with the red, and these have got like a nice little mesh on them, and then they've got this grey effect, and then they've just got a pink tag on the back so I'm loving them and then I got them in red as well and I got them in with this white band with pink and multi colours written on them and they're really cool and they're nice and stretchy as well and they remind me a little bit of the Calvin Klein ones and then I got these really jazzy <laughs> multi coloured ones I'm in love with these knickers. So they were the knickers that I got. So again, they were 5 25 and they come beautifully wrapped in the Victoria's Secret packaging. Um, and obviously, you get your pink bag for free. You didn't have to pay for this. Um, and then I went to their beauty section. And to be honest with you, I didn't really need another body spray. Um, I bought this before I spotted the, the Body Fantasies one, which is maybe like, oh, ooh, this versus this. These are £15 each or two for 18 so you're paying three pound for another product or you can get like four for something but obviously because i only got the two that's the only deal i really took any notice of um and it smells amazing this is the pink body mist in wild and breezy this one was really popular in the shop it actually reminds me of it's a little bit more perfumey but it is like my pink hollister it smells really, really similar to the pink Hollister spray that they do. It says Go Wild um, in Red Guava and Passion Flower. Um, and like I say, these are supposed to be, you probably won't be able to see that on there, but these are supposed to be £15 each and I got this for um, 2 for 18 which was really good. And then I also picked up this for my holidays, which I thought would be really lovely. It's the pink Sunkissed Bronze Shimmer Oil. Um... It says, be forever sunkissed in coconut water and sunny vanilla. Ultra light bronzing oil gets your glow on, packed with nourishing argan, macadamia, avocado and vitamin E oils. Um, and this will be lovely, like, on your collarbones and things um, and across your neck when you're on holiday. And it smells like holidays. It smells absolutely delicious. I'm going to put a little bit on my skin and rub it in to show you what it looks like. But it's really, really pretty. You might not be able to see it on camera, actually. I don't think... Yeah, you, can you just see how it's just got that little... Comp right, if you look at this wrist, there's no shimmer. And then you look at this when it catches. That'll look beautiful, like, on your collarbones. Look how burnt I am. And it smells lush. It's got that signature Victoria's Secret scent. These ones smell near off the same as the Victoria's Secret ones. They're just maybe slightly different, but this I am super. I think, and, and for the bottle size, this oil, this is gonna last me ages for what I've paid for it. So I'm super, super, super excited to try those out. I actually do love body oil, so I might do like a body up my top body oil videos or something. I don't know. I'm just trying to think of beauty video ideas. Anyway, loving them. Last but not least, my Primark or Primark. Emma, I know you say Primark, but up in the north is the whole Primark um, argument, and I'm going Primark all the way, even though there's no E. <laughs> so, to start, the top I'm currently wearing, i just undo this just to show you what it looks like underneath here, which says California Heights USA. I picked this up, it's just a little crop top. I thought it'd be great to wear under this or on holiday with shorts. It was five pound. Picked this up from Primark the other day when I was in there, um, in Leeds. And I also picked up a blue one, which says Miami, Long Island Beach, 1990. And this was also five pound. It's sort of got this like um, sea salt wash, 
um, like aged sort of look to it. Really pretty and for a five if all I do you can't fall off. This, you're going to be like what have you bought that for? This right, I'm going to Cavos and they do a Baywatch beach party dress up as Baywatch as if you're on Baywatch type party thing and I picked up this Baywatch swimming costume it was eight pounds um and I just saw it I'm only gonna wear it for holiday but anyway quite like that and it's got the Baywatch badge on it Baywatch lifeguard badge so it's perfect for my fancy dress on holiday I also picked up this. I bought this in cream a while ago, but they didn't have the blush in my shop. So I'm actually going to take the cream one back and this one and then exchange it over for this one, if that makes any sense. And it's just this really cute, I'll hold it all the way up, lacy, play suit. And I think this was like a tenner, £10. And it says in light, is it blush? Light pink. And it's lovely. Only thing with this is you must wear nude knickers. Because it is a little bit see-through. That's what worries me about the white one. That's why I'm going to change it for a slightly darker colour. And this like vintagey pink colour like really suits my skin tone. So I got that. And then I got this, which I do need to actually try on again. Because I had to buy a 14 because the 12 was really small. But it's like a little slip sort of style dress with lace on the bottom really think this is really pretty really beautiful really like it i just need to try this size on and make sure it fits and this is a tenner again absolute bargain um this i'm in love with and i actually bought it in two different colors because i think it's a steal and i just it looks so pretty on this was 15 pounds and it looks like this it's basically a frilly play suit not play suit jumpsuit with long stripy legs and it obviously looks a lot more expensive than £15. So this has got like this colour stripe. And then I also picked up exactly the same um, one, but in the white stripes. Just check your straps when you're buying these if you go out and purchase it. Because I bought one from Leeds and I had to go and exchange it back the next day because the strap was coming away. So just make sure you check. So again, this was £15, exactly the same one, but just with a different print. And then I just got a few daft bits and bobs really. I got a pack of these um, nail adhesive fashion nails, but they've got like an ombre print on for a quid. And Shannon's like saying, um, and then I got a, um, this is from Orpia. It's just a little daft triangular shape necklace in silver. Um, it was three pound reduced down to a pound. Are you having a look? My mum's here now. Um, and it just looks like this and it sells selfie on it. So that was all that I really got. Um, I think I spent more than enough money. Um, even though I've got no money to spend. I'm trying to save money from holidays but it's not happening. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and leave any comments below. Bye.